I sense my friends up ahead. I hope there aren't any monsters in here. Well, try. This is a dungeon, so <laughs> I bet there's gonna be a bunch of monsters in here. Triple ruins on oh, that music too. Hey guys, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. In the last episode, we made our way into uh, Jabu Jabu's den area with uh, Drad and Kushara, and we had to fight him, which was pretty fun. And then we made our way through the still Jabu waters, and then we ended up here into the third dungeon. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Man, off to an intense start already with the dungeon, I see. Are you alright? I guess you can't just go back up here, can you, Zelda? Uh, is there any other way around, maybe? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to find our own way. Oh, this is definitely the biggest dungeon by far. Alright, well, I was certainly not expecting to start like that, but let's get started. Oh, we can push that thing out of the way. There we go. Oh, my bad. Stay right there, big rock. She's gotta come on through. Oh, no, if we're doing 2D water sections, we gotta have a throwback to the anglerfish from Link's Awakening, right? There's no way. Oh, man, that music. I can do it upwards, right? Oh, that's cool. Come on over here. Thank you very much. Now let me uh, <laughs> go get some air before we head further down. Let's see. Uh, okay. Doesn't look like we got anything over here. We got some bubbles over here, though. Uh-oh. I spoke way too soon. What in the hell is that? What is that? Oh, shit. Oh, is it gonna chase her? What? Oh my god. Oh, shit. Alright, Zelda, what are you doing? Get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, uh, shit. Damn, this dungeon is crazy so far. Oh, I see that big-ass fish in the background watching her. Is that thing gonna be the boss fight, maybe? Uh-oh. You're trying to stop me, huh? I'm gonna keep on spinning. It seems like it's making me go faster. Oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, God, no, we're dead. It's, oh, no, wait, we can go forward. Oh, my God. Straight up death. Oh, shit. I can keep on going. There's a ladder right there. Go, 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 go. Oh, man, I don't know how we got out of there. Shit, okay. Oh, okay, let me see where we are now. Uh, man, that kind of, like, threw off my senses, I guess. I'm like... <laughs> I think we're good though. Ah, uh, we probably have these guys' echoes already, but uh, let's go and spawn this guy to take care of them for now. I'm really liking the look of this dungeon. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Somebody tells me we can maybe find something in here though. I know it's an open doorway, but I don't know. Maybe like a ruby chest or something. I'm not expecting like a <laughs> a key or anything. No. All right. Well, I guess I'll head on in through the door then. I pick up that cool monster stone first, too. Okay, so... Oh, that was where we were supposed to go from the front. Okay, I see. Good to know. Oh, thank you for placing another warp point here, too. Also, as I'm getting this warp point out of the way, uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little uh, strange, I guess. I, I just, literally just woke up. Like, right when I started recording, so... Uh, that's probably the reason why. <laughs> okay, that's who we got. We got four statues and a switch. That's definitely gonna take us to the boss room, then. It kinda reminds me of that play- oh yeah, there it is. Cool. Oh, they pulling out some interesting-ass instruments in this dungeon track over here. Ah, okay. I see. So we're gonna need to get four drain things for water to spill out. Got it. All right. Well, uh, there are two sides, so I'm gonna head on to the left for now. Let's see where it takes us. When I was doing the uh, Gerudo dungeon, I was saying that that's gonna that was my favorite dungeon, and it, I still think so at that time, but. I don't know, man. I'm really thinking this could this could probably top it. 
I'm liking the feel of it so far. Oh my, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a Deku Baba. Oh. Have Deku Babas always been in the water before? I don't, have they? Oh wait, no, they've had like, they have bio Deku Babas. Yeah, I was gonna say, they've had the ones from, uh, they have like similar like ones, like Majora's Mask and stuff. Yeah, I'm disappointed in myself as someone who's been a Zelda fan for very long. How could I have forgotten about the bio Babas? Get out of here, fish. Oh, damn, these guys are gonna be jump scaring you over here, I see. Oh my god, can I- Oh god. Oh, that did some damage. Sir, if you'd kindly spit out Zelda, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks for the stone, too. Alright, don't mind her, jellyfishes. Beeries. She's gotta pass on by. So we got another one over there. Right, let me head up here. Is there anything up here? Maybe? It's a ladder. Okay, there's gotta be some sort of chest or something down here then. Oh my god. God. God damn, Babas. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to kill this guy fast. There we go. Oh god. See, look, I thought so. I knew there'd be a chest in here. Ooh, silver rupees too. Love to see it. Farewell, Deku Baba. Uh, you're never gonna get her as a snack ever again. She's gone now. Is that the torch? Oh, let me uh, pull out the uh, fire, guys. That's something we can light? Oh, it is. That's cool. Oh, this is certainly gonna open something. Probably that door. No? Oh, wait. How? What? How in the hell are we gonna get fire in the water? What? Okay. We've uh, certainly uh, come across a predicament here. That's obviously just gonna. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that poor guy. Whoa. I can see. Oh! They want me to pull that out. I see. Interesting. Well, I could do just that. There we go, and that should open up. Clever usage of the uh, fire puzzles. I like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, so this is probably our second switch then, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and open it then. Nice. Making progress. Yeah. I know, game. It's not gonna make it to the top. I'm gonna need three more. <laughs> you don't have to mess with me like that. Getting my hopes up. Crushing my dreams. Well, the only way we can go is down, so... Might as well. Why we've been here? Oh, it's just back over here. Okay. Well, let me get back out. Because there was that other side on the right. Uh, from this room, yeah. Is that gonna be locked? I hope it's not locked. Okay, thank god. I would not have liked to go find a key somewhere. Okay, we got a log and a bomb fish. i probably avoid that guy for now. Well, let me, uh, place my water block. I can- Oh god! <laughs> my way over here. Okay, you know what? Oh, you Caesar. Is there a way I can place this bed somewhere without her getting attacked? Oh my god, that dragonfly is on her ass. Can you guys stay over there? I'm gonna have Zelda rest for some more hearts. That's more like it. There we go. Ooh, I'd like to pick that up. Thank you very much. Hey, dungeon map. Nice. Okay, let me check that out. What do we got? Okay, so that's gonna take us there. It's probably gonna be another switch room. Maybe, hopefully, that chest over there can get a small key we can use somewhere. That's the boss place. And eventually we're gonna get over here somehow. Okay. Lots of uh, interesting looking design rooms. I like it. Cool. Let's get back in that water. Oh shit, we got a lot of bomb fish. Uh, all right, bomb fish, distract them. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, okay, please don't notice her. I would appreciate if you were not. Oh god, Zelda, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Perfect. The spinning really does come in handy in the water. Ah. Oh, what? There's a shark guy over there! What? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, Octorok. Oh, I gotta get that guy as an echo. That's gonna be sick. Oh, this kind of reminds me of, like, the one, uh, I think it was a dungeon in uh, Triforce Heroes. It was, like, in the early game of it, I think. Oh, oh swim down there. Clever. Oh, God, the shark guy! Oh, get up there. Zelda, please. 
I'm going in. Oh, shit. I was accidentally going down. Okay, uh, fight my bombfish. Uh-oh. Is that gonna kill him? No, definitely not. But it's a good distraction, though. Alright, keep fighting him. <laughs> I don't got a lot of energy to spare. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be a fun echo. Chomp Finn. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fun with this one. Alright, come over here. Oh, four star effects? Yeah. Makes sense. It's a big shark. <laughs> we created some, like, Zelda National Geographic Discovery Planet shit over here. It's the battle of the chomp fins. In their natural habitat. <laughs> in the Jabul ruins. It looks like where we want to go is over here. We can place those blocks. Oh, hello there. You know what? Get out of here. Thank you very much. Oh, I see. We can just uh, make our way over here. Very nice. And, oh, certainly want to go for that place. Of course, why would I say no to a chest? Nice, especially when it gives rupees. Anything in here? Maybe some ingredients? No? Nothing? Alright, that's fine. I don't mind. Oh, we're gonna go on a tightrope? Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Please don't knock her off, Octorox. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, this is gonna lead to the switch room, right? Uh-oh. You know what? Can a shark go on land? <laughs> Shit, certainly not. Uh, makes sense. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call out my uh, club guy then. Go get, go get the crab. Go get him. You got this. Oh. Okay. Oh, his little pincers are blocking the way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, get up there. <laughs> do, do your thing. Very nice. I'm gonna take you and throw you over there. And I'm gonna get the chart guy ready. Just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful teamwork. Now it's the shark's turn. It's like something straight out of a Pokemon battle. It's switching out. You've done well, Clor Club <laughs> Morblin. Now it's all on the shark. Man, this game is so cool. Any uh, chests or nothing? Just open the doorway? That's fine. Now this should certainly lead to the switch room, right? Certainly. There it is. Nice. Now from here, I don't know where else we could go for the other two. So unless the water gets high enough to take us upwards a little bit? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it looks like it is. Right? Oh, no. Okay, they're just getting my hopes up again. Alright, that, that works too. I do have an idea, though. Maybe the geyser can, like, launch her up? Oh, okay, cool. I'm glad I thought of that. Nice, well, let's continue onwards then. I've always kind of liked dungeons like this in Zelda, where there's like a main room that leads you to the boss room, but you gotta like open it up by going around. It's pretty cool. Oh, I love their Rock rocks. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be my favorite dungeon. <laughs> I am liking everything I'm seeing right now. Got floating rafts, kind of reminds me of uh, one of the shrines in Breath of the Wild. Oh, look at this, beautiful parkour skill Zelda. Oh God, keep it up. Oh god, we gotta wait for more things. Uh, let me get my water blocks out. Oh god. Right, can we jump over there? Oh, there's our way out! Can we... Oh god, that damn tectite. Okay, uh... Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on, there we go. Nice. Okay, that... I got a hit. Okay. I think I see what we gotta do. It's gonna take us around. Oh, I didn't even see those urchin guys over there. Uh, go forth, shark guy. Can I jump over here? I can. Let me hit that. Okay, now I don't got a lot of energy left. But can I arrow? Oh, let's go, I actually did well with an arrow for once. Okay, uh... I have just enough to hit this. Where else do I gotta go? Up there. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to build my way up there then. What if? Big if. Can we uh, jump from here? Oh, I can probably shoot an arrow from there though. Or oh, is that too high? That might be too high. Okay, can I get rid of this? Let's try it. Oh, it's not working. Oh shit, no! I'm out of energy! Okay, a new plan. Is that gonna take us over here? 
Oh, okay. Cool. Um... Okay, but what if I just send my pathway at it? There we go. Nice. Okay, now we gotta get over there. This is where it's gonna get tough. I don't have enough sword energy, so I'm not gonna be able to cheese things with a sword fighter jump. I could try bed towers, though. Although, it might only take me so far. Oh god. Oh sh- Oh god damn it. Oh wait. That might actually work to my favor. I think it does. Okay, we just gotta get back up there. Come on, Zelda. Please take me over there. Please! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank god. Okay, uh, I'll just have... What can I do? Uh, I guess I could just have the Ignazole burn it. Let me, uh, get rid of everything. There we go. Do your thing! Thank you very much. It's gonna be a slow process, but at least we'll get it done. Thank you for always being such a helpful guy. At any second now. There we go. Nice. You've done your job, Ignazole. Thank you very much. Ooh. I'll take that kelp. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't mean to throw you in there! Oh, now I kind of feel bad. Farewell, fallen soldier. It was an honor getting to open the puzzle along with you. Oh. Okay, another fight. You know what? I remember getting that sword guy a while, a while ago. Where's it at? It's like the, the sword moblin guy. Here it is. Go for it! You've got a shield, so... Actually, you know what? The Tektites are very high jumpers. They could just probably jump from in the back, yeah. He's doing good damage, though. Yeah, I really feel bad. But uh, when you got no sword fight energy, you just kind of have to resort to uh, using the Echoes to do the job. Nice. Okay, we got another one over here. Let's go. You got this! I believe in you! Oh, the perfect teamwork! Alright, you wanna jump over there? Uh oh. Oh shit, well that guy's dead. There we go. Get out of here. And I would imagine probably just like last time, this should be taking us to another switch, I believe. Perfect. Nice, and I think after this is just one more. And it looks like we can go to the right side out of the main room, so that's probably gonna take us there. And then after that, probably gonna be done, but at the same time we have not done the mini boss yet. So there's still that to run into. And since Link has been the mini boss for the past two dungeons, I would guess that he's gonna be it again, but he did not show up in the uh, beginning of the dungeon like he did with the Gerudo one, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, time to head off to the right side. Let's go. Let's see, let's take a look. So we got some bubbles over there. Okay. Got a boulder. Oh, we can push that out of the way for, uh, what is this? Probably a chest or something? If I can go through there? There we go. Ah, I thought so. Clever. Clever. I see you, Nintendo. Ooh, man, I've been getting a lot of golden eggs. I feel like they're probably going to be used for some helpful smoothies. Because we can cook them, right? I believe we can. I just want to double check. Yeah, it may greatly boost the effect of other ingredients. Ooh. That's pretty good. So I'd imagine that's gonna be it to where it's like, let's say we make like a cold resistance thing, it's gonna have like more time or something, kind of like how it is in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom if you use the stronger ingredients. I'm gonna pull that boulder out of the way as well. Interesting. That board, we can't do anything from there, but we can go up here, right? That thing's in the way. I'm gonna have to think here. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. Is that gonna do anything? No? Okay, we'd have to find access to get to the boulder. So then we probably gotta get down here somewhere. Can we? Oh, we can move this down. Oh, I see. Okay, and then I can use my bomb fish for this thing. Man, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, that leads to the boss key. Oh shit, already? We haven't even ran into the mini boss yet. Hey, but I won't say no to that. I'll gladly take it, of course. You got the big key. Now you can open the big door. Nice. I always love the, um, I think I've probably 
mentioned this before, but the sparkle effect you get when you open the big key is pretty cool. Okay, can we squeeze on through? No, we might need to move this. Yeah. There we go. Hello there, bombfish. Don't mind Zelda. She's got to make her way up here. We can certainly move this thing, though. There we go. I'll uh, take this thing downwards if I can. You know what? Taking it over here is better. I think I can use the bombfish for these things. Probably. Gonna... Okay, I heard him blow up. Nice. Oh, thanks for the apples. Uh, man, that, did that beery really want to get caught in this explosion? Oh, well, I guess the bombfish is dead. <laughs> or not! <laughs> that works too. Alright, let's go ahead and blow this up. And this thing up. Gonna have to work a little quickly, but we're looking good on our air meter. Nice. Okay, uh, it's gonna lead to a ladder. Oh, we can swim up through here. Oh, oh, hello there, shadow monsters. Okay, since we got shadow monsters, I'm gonna pull out the, uh... Well, where was it? No, that was the damage reduction. Oh, it's over here. The energy thing. And, of course, since we're in the water, go for it, Chompfin! You got this! <laughs> Well, I got some more energy now, so I can definitely help out. Let's go. Come over here! You can't do shit against the Zelda Chomp Fin double teamwork combo. Unbeatable. Unstoppable. Nice. Man, I'm loving this Chomp Fin guy. You have become Zelda's greatest friend in this dungeon. I appreciate you. Oh, that's kind of cool. We've got an underwater switch this time. Alright, come over here, Bio Babas. Let's go. Come over here. Get out of here. Oh. Uh, I could probably just place, like, a boulder on that, right? There you go. Nice. And this should take us to the boss room. But we still have not fought the mini boss yet, so uh, maybe we're going to do that first, probably? Are we really gonna jump into the boss with no mini boss fight? Huh. No, there's gotta be a catch to that, right? Surely. Oh. Wait. Oh, we're just on a top side area. Okay. Uh. Let me move that thing out of the way. So then we can push this boulder out of the way. Perfect. There we go. I'd imagine that's just a shortcut, right? Yeah. Cool. So we're really just straight up done with the dungeon? Just like that? Uh, I guess we are, yeah, it's the boss room. No mini boss fight in a dungeon? That's very odd. Huh. Well then, since we got ahead and finished the dungeon, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and I'll see you in the next one where we are gonna take on the third boss here in the Jabul Ruins, which I'm very excited to, uh, to do. The uh, last two boss fights were pretty fun, and I imagine it's gonna continue the trend. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and I'll see ya in the next one. Peace.